So I get a lot of questions constantly about different ways to plant hydroponics, what planters to use, what's a good setup. So I wanted to take you guys through a bunch of different setups I have in my home. Um, what's great about it is there's a lot of different ways to do it. So if you do have the materials to have like a proper hydroponic setup, you can do that. But there's a lot of other ways to plant as well if you're not if you're not like buying at hydroponic shops. So I'm um, really excited to show you a bunch of different ways I have set up here in my place. Okay, so first off, I'm gonna show you uh, my favorite way to kind of set up hydroponics plants. Um, and that's in a proper hydroponics outer vessel and inner planter. So um, this here is a Syndaxis Exotica. Um, she's growing really happy in hydroponics. Um, and this here is a planter I got from easygrowhydro.com. Um, I talk a lot about this page. It has great tips for hydroponics and it well, as well as selling uh, really good hydroponic planters. So what uh, this looks like is it has an inner vessel that has uh, a lot of drainage holes and we have all of my LECA up in here. And then it has an outer vessel where my uh, nutrient and water mixture will sit um, and the plant just kind of sits in there and what I love about it is it has this water level meter um, that shows you when you're at zero and when it shows you at max and this is one of the best water level meters that I've seen for hydroponic planters in general um, none of the other ones really tell you when you're like fully empty and fully topped out a lot of them will just kind of show you when you're like starting to deplete but you know you won't really get a sense of when it's fully empty so i really like these um and they even show you the recommended water level area for you to keep the water at so they keep things really simple uh next up i want to show you kind of a riff on that so this here is a normal planter with actually with drainage on the bottom um, and it has an easy grow hydro inside pot so it still has that drainage hole there but on the outside I wanted to use something a little bit more decorative so I used a nice um, I think this is Chegg planter and on the inside you'll see here that I taped up a Ziploc bag to kind of seal the bottom to make sure that no water would seep out. So this is holding an outer vessel of water just like the other one, but um, I actually sealed up with Ziploc uh, bag and make sure to make sure that this wouldn't drip outside. And then I just put a uh, Easy Grow Hydro hydroponic planter in there so that I can maintain the water level at all times as well. So that's that. This is a variegated Florida uh, beauty and I love this plant. I just got it. Uh, a few weeks ago and it seems really happy it's already growing a new leaf all right next up i'd love to show you um, another just kind of hydroponic planter setup this one is from amazon it's i think the tpu seven inch one uh it's linked in my amazon shop so if you want to check that out you can definitely buy that through the link um and this here is a variegated monstera aurea she's one of my favorite plants um, so what this looks like is it's pretty similar to the Easy Grow Hydro Planter, but it kind of has this dip in the bottom um, and the LECA does go into those little um, extrusions here. Um, it also has the water on the outside and a water level meter. Um, what I don't like as much as the Easy Grow Hydro ones is that this water level meter, like I said, kind of doesn't really give you a good sense of when this thing is totally empty. It just kind of shows you when it's like half, like, you know, the bottom little piece has water and then, or when it's filled up to where it should be at the max level. But like, it really doesn't give you a sense of when it's completely empty. Um, so I don't love this one. I also really like how the Easy Grow Hydro one is pretty secure in there. So you can just like lift the inside pot out with it. Um, but this one you kind of just like it's a separate piece it's a little harder to pull in and out but these are still great they're really cheap they're sold in a three pack so um, I buy these all the time because uh, it's just so easy okay next up I want to show you pretty much the easiest way to just do something in hydroponics so you don't need to really buy anything um, is this is a neon pink syngonium um, neon robusta syngonium and this here is a planter from Clean Cut Mosaics, which are really beautiful. I encourage you to check out his Instagram. 
Um, and this again, I has drainage, but I taped up a plastic bag inside so that the water wouldn't seep out of the drainage hole. And here we have just a normal nursery pot that uh, I'm just using as a hydroponic interplanter. I can't see the water, there's no water level meter, but at the same time I can pull it out and I can kind of see where the wet line is and that it's about a third of the way up. So um, I can also easily monitor it. I just still have to just pull it out of the outer pot rather than just easily be able to see on a water level meter. But this is super easy because you can just use existing nursery pots um, and recycle them and then we don't have to create as much waste as well. And last but not least, um, I'll show you just one that, you know, a lot of people really like as well because it's kind of pretty. Um, it's just using one clear glass container. Um, a clear glass container, you can easily see where the water is at. So this one's a little bit low, but it's totally fine. Um, and uh, you can just, it's kind of nice because you get to use all your pretty glassware in the house. Uh, one drawback of this, I will say, is that if you ever want to just clean the outer pot, you do have to kind of repot this whole plant. So you have to pull it entirely out of the planter and clean and um, you might get some algae buildup and you know that's something you'll want to clean up as well, but it's not really like harmful or anything. So now I want to show you some lechuzapan setups. Um, I use lechuzapan typically for succulents and hoyas. Um, succulents really needing to be pretty dry, so, um, and then hoyas being, can be a little bit more wet than a succulent, but still likes to be pretty dry. So, um, one setup I have here, and this is my ghost cactus, it's very gated and I love it. Um, so she's just in Lechuza in a terracotta container uh, with a drainage hole. So I pretty much always make sure that my cacti are in terracotta because it absorbs some of the water so uh, the Lechuza pond doesn't stay too wet. Um, and this here I'll water like maybe every two weeks just a little bit. Uh, they really don't need that much water, maybe more than that, like even less frequently than every two weeks. So. Um, that's one way that I use lechuza pond. And then the other is for a plant that might be a little bit more okay with being a little bit more wet at all times, uh, like a Hoya, I will water this and keep it in the outer pot container and the water will sit in the outer vessel, but I usually will let this empty out and get pretty dry between waterings. So um, there's that. And what you can see here that I did is this is actually just the Tupperware container that I use that I uh, cut up and turned into a inside planter uh, at the same dimensions of a, a planter that I wanted to use because I didn't have any like nursery pots that were the right size. Um, and also when I do this, I tend to make these little tabs. Uh, I just use packaging tape and kind of do that, but it makes it really easy to just pull these in and out of the outside planter. Uh, so that's a nice tip that uh, I encourage you to do as well. All right, so that's all of these guys. Uh, I wanna show you one more setup. I'm gonna have to travel with you to show it to you because it's really big, but this is how I have a really, really large hydroponic setup. So uh, one sec. So lastly, I just wanted to show you one more setup. This here is a giant bird of paradise that I've had for like four years. Um, and I did convert her to hydroponics, possibly against my better judgment, but she's pretty happy. Um, so this here is a giant nursery pot. I think it may be 12 inches. And um, that's filled up with Lekka. I will say that this is pretty expensive. Like this is almost one of those 25 pound uh, liter bags of hydrogen. So this is a pretty expensive conversion, I will say just as a one-off. Um, so that sits in here and there's an outer vessel um, as well that is something called a tub truck. I also have this in my Amazon shop. It's just like a rubbery um, thing and I really like it. You can put one in your sink while you're like doing Lekka to make sure nothing falls down the drain or anything. Um, so I have a couple of these and I really like them and it fits really nicely outside this basket. So then lastly, I have one more outer basket um, and this kind of hides the system and lets it look pretty nice. So. That's how I have my Bird of Paradise set up. Um, and that is the biggest setup I have in my house. And she seems pretty happy. You can even see the roots um, kind of poking through to get uh, some more of the water outside of the vessel. So she's really happy.